An SNP MP has taken a swipe at Nicola Sturgeon's party claiming they need to wake up and deal with Scottish independence. Kenny McCaskill who served as a former Justice Secretary under Alex Salmond accused the SNP of falling asleep on the job in Scotland's bid for independence. Mr McCaskill said questions could be asked of party bosses on their current plans for delivering Indy Ref 2. It comes after a new poll showed more than half of Scots now back independence. Think Tank Business for Scotland commissioned the panel base survey, which questioned 1,070 Scots aged over 16 and found 54% back Scotland leaving the UK, while 46% oppose it. The SNP MP for East Lothian, told the Scottish Daily Record, I can understand why the First Minister and the Health Minister have been otherwise engaged. But this ISNT about the government, the government has a job to do managing the country, this is about the position of the Scottish National Party. And questions have to be asked about what's going on there. Getting the party in gear is something that should be done. I think the party has gone to sleep for a few months and I think it's about time whoever is in charge woke it up and got it working. The work on independence should be getting done. Campaigning is difficult because of social distancing and the world which we face. Anyone involved in politics is going to have to change how we work in the post-COVID world. Mr McCaskill said that Scotland has a bleak future within the Union, stressing that the UK government were delivering Brexit against the wishes of the people of Scotland. Talking about the increased support for independence, the MP admitted that there was a shift towards it. He continued, we would like it to be higher but we are where we are. But you have to remember there has been no campaign for it. For three months, if not beyond, tools have been downed on the yes side. Meanwhile, the Little Englanders and the Brexiteers have unashamedly continued. The people of Scotland are entitled to a referendum. The mandate exists but hasn't been implemented. It won't be implemented between now and 2021 given coronavirus and the potential of a second wave. 